Joining us now is Edward Parkinson, head of Viagogo UK, to discuss the climate for ticket sales. Uh, Edward, um, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Jeffrey's just beside himself. He's so excited, the fact that Rolf Harris is making it to Glastonbury. He's one of his all-time idols. Um, but in terms of overall ticket sales for concerts, for events and what have you, has the recession and the slow crawl out of it taken its toll? We've actually seen at Viagogo that the uh, festival market this year has been very resilient to the recession. Um, people are looking for value right now, of course, but a festival ticket really does provide great value. You get to go and see loads of bands over a series of days, you get entertainment, you have a great experience. And some people may even trade that down from a holiday. So we've actually seen the market be very buoyant. Trouble is, these, these kind of events, I mean, once upon a time, it was, uh, it was, dare I say, your odd hippie, your odd student getting your day off from hard work. Uh, now it, it's all the corporates, it's all the middle classes. It's, it, dare I say, it's the Jeffrey Cutmores. What, <laughs> has it changed the audience? Has it really gone a bit kind of mainstream? Well, I think what we've seen in the festival market is a real broadening of the choice of festivals. It's no longer just one festival. There's a whole different choice for different consumers. Um, I think that the way festivals choose their relevant partners to add to the experience can be great for the consumer because they can get freebies, extra tents, extra bands, and it can actually bring ticket prices down, making it a better value experience all round. So I think it's a good thing rather than a, rather than a negative That's point. It. Record companies are, are really throwing their, their efforts into the live music arena, aren't they, with the, the, the challenges they're facing on selling selling, well, not even CDs anymore, but selling even electronic music um, legally and getting people to pay up for it, it seems that they're having to, to look for other revenue streams and, and this is a good one for them, isn't it? Absolutely. There's been a huge sort of movement in the value in the music industry to live music, but the fact is, I guess, that the music industry has a product that people love and they want and they will continue to want in the future. Um, certainly in Viagogo in the secondary market, we've seen that the, uh, the secondary, the aftermarket grow considerably and we provide a platform where people can resell unused tickets and fans who perhaps missed out the first first time can buy a ticket so that that hard to get ticket to an event and we our business has grown in multiples as opposed to percentages and I think that's just testament really to the, to the way live music has grown as a sector G give us some idea of the international component here is, are there a lot of foreign fans who are coming into the UK to see these kind of festivals and the opposite way around that's, a, that's actually a very interesting trend I think we now see 15 to 20 percent of sales being cross-border for, for festivals so whether that's somebody in southern Europe wanting to come and see Blink-182 at Reading or somebody wanting to go to Denmark to Roskilde or even as far as Serbia and Croatia where there's a lot of new festivals springing up which are extremely popular so it's an increasingly international market in Europe um, and apart from a, a good pair of boots what's your recommendation of the things you must take just in case any of our viewers well, are heading off we certainly can't forecast the weather for festivals we know that in the UK so prepare for all weathers and I guess most importantly make sure you've got a ticket <laughs> well yeah that'd be a good thing and uh, go on take another shot at our man go on Say something bad about Rolf Harris. <laughs> You'll never get out of this building alive. I'll tell you one thing, <laughs> I'll tell you one thing though. He, he is a phenomenal artist. I would have meant real artist. Oh, it's too musical. late now to come crawling back. Hey, hey. I, want more I won't hear a bad word said about Rick Astley either. <laughs> Two little boys. <laughs> Brings Two. me to tears every time I hear that song. Um, Giles, let's come back to you and let's wrap.